Hello Cancer, welcome to a bonus love reading. This is gonna be for Cancer singles. Um, we're gonna be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love, what can you expect in love, and what advice or guidance Spirit has for you um, on how you can approach love or prepare for love. So let's jump right in for Cancer singles. Spirit, angels, guides. Who or what is coming towards cancer singles that are looking for love? Who or what is coming towards them? Cancer singles. Who or what's coming towards them? Okay. Difficult decision, options, choice, indecision. So I believe some of you might have a choice to make here between two people perhaps or how to... Um, approach love in general like maybe there's something that you need to do differently tied up yeah because you're stuck okay so I'm speaking to a cancer single who's a bit stuck right now burdened perhaps unsure about what decision to make here maybe unsure on how to approach love okay what else for cancer message what guidance do you have for cancer regarding love oh my god okay we have reconciliation children and engagement so this is probably where you're headed cancer higher levels of commitment, perhaps starting a family, and it's gonna be because of a reconciliation. So maybe this tied up in difficult decision energy is for your person, the person coming towards you. Because I feel like you're reuniting with someone. What guidance, what messages, Spirit, do you have for Cancer? regarding who or what is coming towards them in love from a cancer singles spirit who or what is coming towards cancer in love who or what okay who or what is coming towards cancer in love we got the eight of wands and the eight of wands is quick movement quick action quick communication wow we got the wheel of fortune so something's happening quickly here something's coming in what was that the ace of wands wow yeah there's definitely a new beginning starting here cancer and there's the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so i feel like most of you uh you have been single have been working on yourself taking care of yourself because that's the energy of the nine of pentacles um very uh into self-care and kind of taking care of their appearance um very successful at what they do very stable established um, this is someone that attracts people to them and they have everything that they could possibly need except for love the nine of pentacles so i find that to be fascinating that that ended up at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, um, Cancer, you're ready. You're ready for this. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please, for, for Cancer. Ten of Wands, okay. Why is the Eight of Wands here, Spirit, for Cancer? There's the Nine of Pentacles again seven of pentacles so i feel like some of you you've been waiting for something to pan out here for you in love with the seven of pentacles and maybe even worried that it's not going to happen or it's not going to be successful excuse me maybe you're waiting for someone specific as well now this ten of wands i'm not sure what this is because this is um difficulty burdens over time having um feeling weighed down can i get one more for the eight of wands so if there is communication coming in with the Eight of Wands, it could be that someone's telling you about this. Yeah, King of Swords. This is somebody communicating, being very honest, direct. 
and possibly talking to you about this eight of wands some sort of burden obligation maybe they've been dealing with some difficulty and now they're able to come forward three of pentacles yeah working on things there's the eight of pentacles after that putting in effort time energy into something uh, the eight of pentacles is not someone that just plans or talks they're actively working on something as you can see somebody there with like chiseling away same with this three of pentacles so what's going on with this wheel of fortune so this is um good luck fate this is things kind of moving in motion events unfolding momentum why is the wheel of fortune here spirit the five of wands okay why is the wheel of fortune here a lot of wands energy four of swords maybe healing some sort of conflict healing some disagreements misunderstandings yeah three of pentacles working on something so this is possibly why there's this re reconciliation energy and there's a ton of swords at the bottom of the deck so there could have been an ending with a particular person or a difficulty that one of you have experienced here but i feel like this wheel is like let's kind of do it again um try again and have a new start because we have the ace of wands here tell me about the ace of wands what does this look like for cancer spirit why is the ace of wands here seven of cups choices options what to do where to go tell me about the ace of wands strength leo energy courage to choose kind of going with the flow here with the strength card the strength card is all about kind of releasing control and the hermit virgo energy well this is interesting because i have judgment at the bottom of the deck with the hermit and the seven of cups so i feel like when this person comes forward cancer you're going to think about this someone's going to come in for a second chance yeah there's the knight of cups maybe with an apology and you're going to be really evaluating this thinking about this trying to make this decision of accepting this person or not maybe there's some sort of courage here in making this decision for you yeah there's a page of pentacles after that you know maybe you you just aren't really sure about something maybe you don't have all of the answers you wanted or all of the clarity that you wanted and so you're kind of hesitant to just say yes tell me more about this person what do we need to know what do we need to know okay intelligent logic logical and analytical okay okay i'm just gonna wait for one of them to come out what else do we need to know about this person, Spirit? What, what, what else do we need to know about this person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with? Honest, sincere, and genuine, and intense. Yeah, so this person's not playing around, whoever this is. They're very honest and intelligent at the same time. I'm thinking about this King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here. This is somebody that's very direct, and yes, they can be intense, for sure. So whoever this is, they're just going to tell it to you straight, be very honest about their intentions here, and very earnest about what they're telling you. What else do we need to know, Spirit? What else do we need to know, Spirit, about this individual? Main female and main male. Okay, so this is like a pair, counterparts. I feel like you're meant to be. Whoever this is, you're meant to be with them. Number uh, nine change is at the bottom of the deck. So there's maybe some sort of change that's happening in this connection 
or a certain change that this person is proposing, right? Like let's do something different this time or let's try to reconnect, but change something about that, right? It can't happen the same way that it happened before. Let's ask Spirit for some advice, guidance. Any advice, guidance for Cancer on how they can approach love or prepare for love, Spirit? Any advice or guidance for Cancer, please? The Cancer singles. Act now. One more, please. Any advice, guidance for my Cancer singles? Oh, I got more than one. Don't lose hope and keep an open mind. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hopefully you enjoyed this bonus love reading uh, for my Cancer singles. Um, if you enjoyed it or you just like how I read, then don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more videos from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.